My heater seems to be stuck in standby mode. The display shows BD. What's up? Is your heater gas or electric? How old is it? Heater is stuck in standby mode. Display shows BD. Can you help? How long has this been going on with your heater? What have you tried so far? Just a day. Last time we used it was two weeks ago. I tried shutting a lack. Off and depressing down temp button and mode button simultaneously for three seconds. Anything else we should know to help you best? I can't think of anything else. Hi there. My name is They got over 10 years in the trade. I'll be glad to help. Please disregard any automated phone request or service requests as they are generated by the website. You do not have to accept phone requests. Please bear with my responses, actively working on the job site also. What sort of heater do you have? Could you give me the model number? Thanks. Hayward. I don't readily see the model now. It should be like HXXXFDN slash P or something of the sort. Would it be on the outside or inside? It should be on a sticker slash data plate. Most likely behind the front panel. Should be the model hash, serial hash, etc. Should also be the wiring schematic. Okay, I'll try to find it. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and let you know that the BT code means bad board or secondary high voltage fault. Do you have a multimeter? I can get one but don't have it here. That's okay. By the time we are finished with this conversation you will be armed with all the necessary information to diagnose and repair your pool heater. Most of the time this code is caused by the little glass fuse on the board being blown. The fuse is labeled to FC4 on the board. I have the model no. Want it? Yes. H400 FDP. Thanks. Should I wait for you or should I remove the side panel where the control buttons are? This seems to be the only panel easily removed. Just make sure the power is off before doing anything. It's off. Do you know where the control board is? You can pull that fuse, sometimes you can visibly see if it's blown or not. It's a glass fuse with a tiny filament in the middle. Maybe hard to see, that's why we need a meter to truly diagnose more accurately. No. Maybe under the panel located on the side where the mode slash temp buttons are located? I remove the panel and CTHF4 fuse. Should I pull it out and test it? Yes. Okay. I need to get a screwdriver or something small to pry it out. Okay. Got it. Looks good to the eye but I'll get a multimeter to try it. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay. If the fuse is good, there are only two possibilities, bad board or bad transformer. Once you check the fuse, I'll send you the tech guide which shows how to diagnose which one it will be. Fuse checks out okay. Okay, 
So you can turn the heater on now and proceed to this step http colon slash prntscr.com slash p02 quiu. http colon slash prntscr.com slash p02 d1l. This will tell you if it's the board or transformer. Okay. It'll be a few minutes. Not at home yet, and I need to put the fuse back. Okay, here's a link to the complete guide as well. This should be all you need. Hopefully that helps. HTTP colon slash www.haywardnet.com slash pdfs slash as heater troubleshooting guide dot pdf. Hi Tamar. I'm the guy you spoke with yesterday about the Hayward pool heater. I went through step 2 and 3 and had 120 volts in both instances. So I guess I need to replace the ICB. No need to do step 4, correct? That's correct. What does ICB stand for and where can I order one online? It's just the control board. HTTPS colon slash www.amazon.com slash Hayward Ixla 2DB 1930 Display Replacement Universal slash DP slash B004VTG 32U slash ref equals ASC underscore DF underscore B004VTG 32U slash question mark tag equals high prod 20 and link code equals DF0 and how did it equals 19809286456 and if pose equals 101 and have net equals G and if Brand equals 876 and if phone equals and hfo equals and hvqmt equals and hate of it equals c and hvdvcmdl equals and avlosent equals and avlocv equals 9012964 and have target equals pla 3519014781358 and psc equals 1. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any other questions. Tomorrow, I went to the Hayward website and compared ICBs visually with the one in my heater. It appears to me that the ICB that I need is the FDX Lice B1930 rather than the IDX. Am I correct? Is your model number H400 FDN? Or H400 FDP? FDP. Part number equals FDX Slice B1930. Thanks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.